welcome back in the previous video we have already built this uh, program for to download the data set and load it in the program uh, as you already know if you have watched the previous video uh, my internet was not working fine so uh, we have not tested out this uh, data sets we have not printed a random batch of data set because it could not be loaded at that particular time so now i have this verified so once you run this program again uh, after downloading it for the first time if you run this again it will just say that using the downloaded and verified file and then if you look at uh, your data folder you'll see that uh, let me just go to desktop and data set here you can find these two files and data has been divided into uh, data sets so yeah there, there, there we go so let me first create a classes uh, kind of a enumeration for different classes uh, list so there are 10 classes in this uh, data set which are plane car bird cat deer dog frog horse ship and truck so we will not try to uh, print a or display a random batch random uh, yeah random image batch from this data set so for that we will first convert this entire batch this entire training set into iterable batches right so to do that we will just use iter function so first we will say iterable batch and we will set that equal to iteration of train set and then <coughs> each of the batch contains uh, the batch which, which is the data and the label itself so the image and the label so let me just name this random batch and label of that batch and we will set that equal to iterable batch dot next okay now we have this batch uh, well now if that Im a batch of uh, if it is a batch of size 4 which it is we have already set it uh, we should convert at uh, 4 images into a grid of let's say 2 by 2 images so that we can display all at once so there is a possibility of doing that using torch vision library using utility utils so let me make a grid and I'll say torch vision dot utils dot make grid and pass in the random batch there. <laughs> now to print or to view this image using matplotlib you need to convert this from a PyTorch tensor to a numpy numpy array and that is really easy using numpy function so let's say grid underscore matrix what we will do is we will just convert grid into numpy using this numpy function okay now let's quickly print the labels first so let me just join this format it properly We we'll use classes here. That's why we have built this classes. Let me just make sure this is called labels because it does not contain single label, but it contains multiple labels. Okay, now of J, where J is in range four. Okay, so it will just print all the labels properly. and I will just print labels again so that it just shows how many labels are there what labels are there and then finally I will use im show function to show the images but we will need to transpose this image in or in uh, correct order that is uh, so what happens is why we need to do that why we need to transpose well matplotlib expects the image of three channels to be in this particular order height width and then the number of channels right so example uh, let's say your image is three channel image and it is 32 by 32 so matplotlib expects you to pass in this dimension 
32 by 32 by 3 that is width height and uh, the number of channels but uh, PyTorch stores or Torch Vision stores these images in this way number of channels first then height and width so we need to transpose and by the way transpose does not basically mean uh, the 2d transpose of a matrix transpose means basically here we are using the transpose function but we are just changing the dimensions we are changing from uh, height width channel to uh, oh, sorry from channel height width to height width channel and let me just show you the syntax there grid matrix dot transpose and so it will say uh, it, it you need to pass in which order you want the dimensions to be displayed so first we need height which is one because it is stored in this way channels height and width so first we want height and then we want width and finally we want the channel so it has we have successfully converted this order into this order so that's it let's delete this and we have transposed it now finally we can just say plt dot show to show a random batch let me just run this again and see if it displays okay so I know image, image might not be clear because we have performed <coughs> a lot of transformations and we have also normalized it so uh, it's, it's not clear but anyway you can make out that this is a bird this might be a frog it's a ship and a dog okay these are all vertically horizontally skewed and stuff so it does not matter we can just still predict it so this is how you randomly view a, a patch let me just comment this so that every time we test our implementation of a classification algorithm it does not print this so yeah yeah so that's it for this video in the next video we'll start building our own classification architecture using convolutional neural networks <coughs> i'll also explain along the way so thanks for watching if you liked don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next one thank you